Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am kind of excited to show you this look because it actually went right. I was doing a cut crease thanks to Amy's comment on my previous video about doing a video with a brown cut crease basically. And I was like, oh god, because I, lo <laughs> I love doing loads of different makeup looks but cut creases are just like... And they never go right for me, like, ever. So I was super scared, but I actually did go right. So, yes, I have a video for you showing you how to do a cut crease. And don't be, don't be let down if it goes horribly wrong when you first do it, because, yeah, it always goes wrong for me, so. Ah. Um, was there anything else I was going to say before the video? I, uh, no, I don't think so, because I think I say a few bits at the end, so, yeah. Enjoy the video, and I, yeah, I hope that you're still with me by the end of it. And I hope it's helpful. That's the main thing. I hope it's actually helpful to people. But yeah, carry on. Okay, so I've already done one eye, because I just had to basically make sure that I could do this look, because it might have been one of those days. I'm using the Urban Decay Eye Primer, and I'm just going to put that all over my lid and blend it out with my finger. Then taking the Affirmation palette by Makeup Revolution, I'm going to take quite a neutral shade and I'm just going to put that all over my lid to set the primer and just make sure it doesn't move about. Okay, and then taking this other neutral shade, kind of an orangey brown colour, I'm just going to pop that into the crease with my blending brush from Sigma, but any blending brush will do. Oh my god, you can see all of my imperfections when I'm this close, there's a little bit... <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, and then taking a smaller brush, I'm just taking a shade that's slightly darker than the one I used in the crease, which I seem to have neglected to show you guys. Um, and then taking the transition colour, I am just blending that out with the blending brush. Okay, and then taking this kind of dark brown, I'm just going to use that in my crease with the angled brush. This is a really soft brush. Um, it's a Sigma brush, but again, any kind of like angled brush will probably work. Um, and then, yep, just blending it out again, because basically this whole look is about blending. Don't worry if it looks messy right now, because it will, but it's all about kind of sorting out at the end as well. Um, this is where I always used to go wrong. I used to just try and get it right first time but it doesn't work okay and then I'm taking a angled brush and going with that same brown and I'm just kind of making the very like crease bit really dark that is the darkest shade I use I can't remember if I've already said that but yep just popping that in then just blending it again blend 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 Okay, and then I'm taking an even smaller angled brush and the Healthy Mix Concealer and I'm just going to put that, well, underneath, to not like, blah, 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 to neaten out the lines to make sure it looks sharp and, yeah, how you want it really. I prefer doing this with a angled brush because I feel like I can actually get the line I want easier, but really you can do this with a small flat brush as well. Okay, and then I am actually going in with a kind of small flat brush there and just blending that onto my eyelid. And going back in with the bigger angled brush with that same brown and just going back along the line to just add a little bit more definition. If you screw it up again, just 
Nathan up again. I feel like with this look, as long as you don't freak out, you'll probably be okay. Okay, and because I feel like the line wasn't quite how I wanted it, I just went back in with that small angled brush and the concealer and just tried to make it look how I wanted. Don't forget to blend, guys. Alright, and then I'm just going in with a kind of neutral shade and just patting over my eyelids just to try and set that concealer in place so it doesn't crease on my eye. Okay, this bit scared me. This is where I was doing the eyeliner. I'm using the Bourjois Liner Pinsu or something. I don't know how to say that. And yeah, this bit always scares me because... If I screw it up, then I've basically screwed up my entire eye, but <laughs> it went okay this time, so that's good. I try to make sure that the line is kind of parallel to the line above my crease, because I feel like that looks better. But a lot of this is just kind of practice. Practice makes perfect. And also neating up that line underneath with a bit of concealer, but you'll see me do that in a minute. Okay, and then I'm just going in with the same concealer I used. Actually, no, wait. Is this the same one? Yeah, it is. Um, just using a small angled brush and neatening up the line underneath my eye because I felt like it wasn't sharp enough. Okay, and then just going back in with the eyeliner and darkening out. Darkening out any bits I feel like need darkening. Okay, and then I like to try and wipe away any excess eyeliner that's got caught on my eyelashes, as that seems to happen a lot, and it makes applying mascara really difficult. Okay, and then I'm using the highlight from the Love the Revolution palette by Makeup Revolution, and just put, popping that on the inner corner of my eye. Ah, oh, brow time! I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Ash Brown. And just using a small angled brush from Sigma and just, well, making an eyebrow that I like. They turned out quite thick today, but I feel like it does kind of work. But yeah, I just tend to go in with small amounts and just keep working at it until I get the shape and the colour that I want. Okay, and then just using the exact same concealer I've been using the entire time. Um, I'm just kind of shaping them a little bit. Well, making up for any mistakes I've made and trying to make the line a little bit better. Um, I go back in with the blending brush just to try to blend it a little bit, but I did struggle a bit, so I used my finger and I also went back in with that transition colour and used that to try and blend it into the eyeshadow. It does normally work better if you do your eyebrows before you do your eyeshadow, but quite often I do eyeshadow and then I do my brows, so I always end up having to try and blend it in. Um, I'm just using the same highlighter under my brow bone. Okay, and just adding some mascara onto my upper eyelashes. I will be leaving my lower lashes until after I've done the rest of my face.
you go, and just neaten up the brow. Okay, so that's the hard bit over. Um, yeah, it actually went okay. Um, I don't always get that right, so good. Okay, so I just need to do the rest of my face now, which is the easy bit. Um, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Look It Featherweight Primer. Um, I'm using this today because I feel like my skin's a little bit dry and I find this quite hydrating. I... This is one of those products where I can't tell if it actually has any real effect on my makeup, but it feels great on my skin so I still use it. But it kind of feels like a moisturiser. So I don't know how I actually feel about kind of spending money on something separate when I could just moisturise my face. I don't know. I've not really used it that much. I've had it quite a long time now, but I've not really used it so much. But I guess we'll see. I should do some like night out trial runs with it. That's the real test. Okay, and then, ugh, ah, uh, don't put these things down if you have cats, damn it. I do it all the time, and then I just end up with cat hairs all over it. I'm not sure if I even want to use it now. Hang on, just, I'll just wipe them away. Okay, and today I am using the L'Oreal True Match in the shade... Oh, here it is. I found it. Um, Golden Ivory. That's, I can't, I'm not 100% sure how... I don't know if this is the right shade for my skin at the moment, but I guess we're about to find out. It's quite light, but still, I feel like I'm just a bit of a weird colour at the moment. But we will see. We'll see how well it covers up all these marks on my skin. only problem with doing your eyes before the rest of your makeup is that I'm terrified of screwing up my eyes. But if I did my face beforehand I'd definitely just mess up my eyes and then everything would be wrong. Right and then I'm just gonna take the jojoba oil and just put a couple of drops on my beauty blender and just bounce it around to blend it in. to move the cat hairs off. Okay, and then for concealer, I am using my trusty, uh, you know, I use this all the goddamn time, and I still can never remember what it's called, but it's the Anti-Age Eraser Eye Concealer by Maybelline. I will remember that one day without actually having to look at it, but I'm just going to put it underneath my eyes and anywhere I feel like it needs a little bit extra coverage. Okay, I feel like I need coverage basically everywhere at the moment. I should just apply another layer of foundation.
baby and I'm sure it was going no, no, no. My throat just made the weirdest sound, I wonder if you guys heard that. Okay, um, right, what am I doing? I'm lost. I am going to powder my face just to set it and hopefully keep it in place. I feel like this is the original Mineral Veil, yeah, by Bare Minerals, but it's really quite, like, pink, and I feel like sometimes it sets my makeup in a really kind of peachy, un like, tone, and it looks a bit odd when I compare it to the rest of my body, so I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I do actually really like the Mineral Veils, but this one's just a bit odd. Then I am going to, ah oh, there it is, I'm going to take the Bourjois Golden Lilac Blush and I'm just going to wonder where the hell I put my blush brush, blush brush, say that fast a billion times, right, Ugh. okay today I'm just going to take this really big fluffy brush <laughs> and see how that goes, I think, because it doesn't normally pick too much up. Should be okay. Yeah. Okay, and then once I have done that, I am going to take the highlight which I used on my brow bone and in a corner this one here by Makeup Revolution in their Love the Revolution palette and today I'm not using a fan brush I'm gonna use this little kind of dome brush and see how that applies because I don't know I'm kind of interested interested to see just sweat around absolute thumbs Glowing today. Okay, and then one of the final things. We're almost there. I'm just going to use this Eva's Nude L'Oreal lipstick, which I've had forever. This is so old, I don't even know if you can get it anymore. But I am going to use this on my lips. Okay, mild panic attack there. My camera was just like, your memory card is broken. Please replace it. And I was like, you, no, you're joking. I filmed so much already. Um, I don't know where it cut off at. So I'm just going to say that I am doing, just putting the mascara underneath my eyes. And I'm going to set my makeup. And I was basically just going on about this little brush. Well, little brush, big brush. And how it is just a bit ridiculous. And doesn't work. I really struggle to find any decent, like, mascaras that actually work for me. I don't know if it's because I'm picky or if it's just... Ow. Oh god, it's so rubbish. Why? Okay, in order to fix that, I'm going to grab another mascara thing quickly. Okay, right, I've just grabbed the Benefit Roller Lash. This is almost empty, so in theory, it should do a good job at just clearing up the mess. It's already transferred to, 
like here. Oh, it's not, like unbelievable. Okay, um, I think I might just, I don't know, throw it away. If that had ruined my whole makeup look, I literally would have just screamed, I think. Where have I put the thingy? Okay, I will find that in a minute. We are so close to being done. Alright. Just... There's my scar in my eye. I thought there was like a spider floating across the room, but no, it's just a bit of mascara rolling around in my eye. <laughs> it's all good, guys. Right, I'm just using the NYX matte finish just to set it all in place and make sure it just doesn't budge. All day. Do you reckon that's enough? Taste it. And that, guys, is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. If you think the like the close it close in, the close up of my eye was a good idea. Cause I was thinking it might be easier for you to kind of follow along if you can like see it. I was a bit scary because I thought, well, if I screw up, they're actually going to see it. Whereas <laughs> I kind of pretend back here. So yeah, let me know what you think of that. Um, if you've got any more ideas on makeup videos definitely let me know because I love getting them and it's always handy to have you know like ideas on what to do uh, yeah that's basically it oh look I'm like terrible for getting lipstick on my teeth just hmm. um but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did don't forget to like comment share subscribe all that stuff that helps me out because that's amazing and i love you for it and also thank you to all my new subscribers i've now got like 107 of you who are actually like following me because you're interested in my stuff and that is just like mind-blowingly crazy and yes awesome but i will chat to you soon i probably won't do a new video now until next week but it will definitely be next week so yeah 